what's going on YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use buttons to link to another storyboard within your app. So to get started you want to start up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. Here you can choose what type of uh, app you want to have so I'm just going to use single view application for now and this should work in the tab view application as well. So I'm just going to be using uh, calling the product button for now um, and you can call it whatever you want and now you can choose where you want to save it and I'm just going to save it to my desktop. So what you want to do is head over to where it says main storyboard and click on this and you can see that um, you have a one view controller here. So in your objects on this panel down the side if you don't have this you go up to where it says view and make sure this side one on the right is uh, selected. So I'll just make this a little bit bigger and drag in another view controller. In fact, I'll drag in another one as well. So we have two new uh, view controllers. So what we'll do is we'll have on this main one. This is the one that um, when you start the app, they'll be going. Uh, it'll be directed straight to this um, storyboard. I'm going to put two buttons. I'm going to call uh, this. I'm going to double click on this button here and call this button 1 and this button 2. So what these buttons will do is we'll have button 1 take us to this view controller here and button 2 take us to this one here. So if we just zoom back in, uh, what we have to do now to link them is you can either right click and drag or uh, you can control click and drag. Uh, from the button to the next view controller and we'll put this at modal and so you can see there's a little um, sort of uh, linking uh, arrow here which um, shows you uh, that it comes from this storyboard to this one and um, when you click on it it highlights this button so we'll just zoom in again and do the same for number two and click modal and so now we can see uh, that they go to the different view controllers and I will make this label here uh, say one and a label here that says two. So it's pretty basic um, and what we're going to do now is if I just start up the app in the iPhone simulator and run it you can see that uh, the buttons will take us to the view controllers we want. Uh, but what we haven't done is we haven't made it able to go from one button uh, to that view controller and then back. So I'll be showing you how to do that in a minute. So you see we go to one, it takes us to one, and then if we just click two, it takes us to two. But before we do that, I need to make sure that we can actually get back to this main view controller from these two. So on this we're going to make another button, oh sorry, select this and we're going to make a, another button, just drag that, uh, this in and we'll call this back and then we'll do the exact same on the second view controller here and call this one back as well and we'll do the exact same as what we did earlier and we'll make it so it links from the button to the view controller we want and we'll make this modal as well and then do the exact same on the other view controller and modal so now you can sort of see that it comes from here and then to it and then all the way back as well so now if we just start the simulator up again you'll be able to see that we can get from this main view controller to one and back again, then from two, and back again. So this can be useful in um, different apps that you make. Uh, I hope this helps you. And uh, if it did, please like um, and comment on the video. It really does help me. So thanks for watching, and see you guys later.